Greetings. Welcome to History Aficionados, the channel where we unravel the mysteries of the past, one captivating story at a time. We are your guide on this epic journey through the annals of history. Today we dive in the story of the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, Cleopatra. If you're as excited about history as I am, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Who was Cleopatra? Not only was Cleopatra the mother of Julius Caesar's child, but she was also renowned for her political acumen, intelligence, and captivating appeal. She wed Mark Antony and became a mother to three of his kids. Above all, she was the final and most well-known queen of ancient Egypt. Her people believed that she was the human embodiment of Isis, the goddess of magic and healing. And they even have a mythology that she killed herself by being bitten by a deadly snake in order to avoid being taken prisoner by Rome. However, the site of Cleopatra's tomb remains the most mysterious of all the myths and mysteries that still surround her. No one has found her remains despite the infuriating efforts of countless historians and archaeologists to locate her final resting place. Who was the Queen of the Nile? Cleopatra, who was born in 69 BC, experienced the latter years of the Ptolemaic monarchy and the fall of the Roman Republic at a pivotal point in history. At the age of 18, she took the Egyptian throne and governed with her younger brother, Ptolemy III. She was renowned for more than simply being a strong and wise queen, of course. She was also well known for having charmed Mark Antony and Julius Caesar, who were regarded as the two most influential men in Rome at the time. Perhaps no other individual in history has attained her degree of intrigue and attraction due to her enormous significance as a figurehead at the nexus of love, fortune, power, politics, and diplomacy. Searching for the tomb of Antony and Cleopatra. Despite her tremendous importance at the time, no one knows precisely where Cleopatra was buried. History tells us that Mark Antony and Cleopatra were buried together, meaning that the finder of her tomb will also discover Antony, an exciting proposition indeed. Most archaeologists assume that Cleopatra's grave is in ancient Alexandria, but this would mean that it's submerged underwater. A large portion of ancient Alexandria now lies beneath the Mediterranean Sea. Underwater archaeologist Frank Godio explored the waters around Alexandria extensively in the early 2000s. The goal was not to find Cleopatra's tomb, and for that matter, no signs of Cleopatra were found. But most mainstream archaeologists still believe that the Queen of the Nile lies somewhere inside a watery Alexandrian grave. Robert Gerval, Professor Emeritus of Classics at University of California, Los Angeles, told Live Science, even if untouched by human hands, earthquakes and seawater would have buried or submerged it. Her palace is certainly underwater. Maybe her mausoleum, too. Where is Cleopatra's tomb? Fortunately, some archaeologists still retain hope, enthusiasm, and optimism in their relentless search for Cleopatra's tomb. Since 2009, a criminal lawyer turned archaeologist, Kathleen Martinez, has channeled all her passion into finding Cleopatra, her personal hero. In a recent National Geographic interview, Martinez described Cleopatra as follows. She threatened Rome, and Romans were afraid of her. She thought she could conquer the world, even though she was a woman. She was a warrior, and she achieved the impossible. This is why she is my heroine, and I will do everything I can to find her tomb. Taking clues from history, that Cleopatra was likely buried at a temple of Isis. Martinez makes a strong case that Cleopatra wasn't buried in Alexandria at all. Instead, she believes Cleopatra is at the temple of Isis at Taposiris Magna, about a 45-minute drive west of Alexandria. In another interview with the Daily Mail, Martinez said, Cleopatra negotiated with Octavian to allow her to bury Mark Antony in Egypt. She wanted to be buried with him because she wanted to reenact the legend of Isis and Osiris. The true meaning of the cult of Osiris is that it grants immortality. After their deaths, the gods would allow Cleopatra to live with Antony in another form of existence, so they would have eternal life together. The Tunnel to Cleopatra these perspectives led Martinez to begin excavations at Taposiris Magna, the largest known temple of Cirrus and Osiris in the vicinity of Alexandria. Using new technologies like ground-penetrating radar, satellite imagery, LIDAR, and remote sensing, Martinez has already made astonishing discoveries at the temple. Since 2009, her digs produced a trove of unexpected relics, 
multiple mummies, including one with a golden tongue, statues, jewelry, coins, pottery, and other artifacts. More recently, Martinez discovered a 6.5-foot-tall, 4,300-foot-long tunnel, approximately 43 feet underground at the temple. Has Cleopatra's tomb been found? Martinez may not have found Antony and Cleopatra, yet, but her journey offers the most promise when it comes to finding Cleopatra's resting place. As one of the most famous women from ancient history, the finding of her tomb would be an earth-shattering and history-altering event. In this sense, Martinez's work has ignited and inflamed our fantasies about the extravagant and alluring life of Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile, the powerful Roman men she loved, and the secrets that lie inside her tomb. If you enjoyed this journey through history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the fascinating past. Until next time, stay curious.